Really look at um, how this works, right? What uh, GD is really doing is building the building blocks, right, for the, for the SOCs. And if you look at our 160 customers that we were talking about, there are some customers who build their own IPs in most cases, and primarily because they go to market very early and they need very, very advanced IPs very early. Most of the third party IP ecosystem today does not develop the IP very early. They have to wait for the uh, complete process to be stable and then they start building. Whereas with, with Invicus, the understanding is there'll be some concurrent development. That means they will start working on the IP as the process is being developed. So you can compress the schedule and have the IPs available very early. With that change, I believe, personally, in the next couple of years, you'll see a trend where most of the customers will start looking at that kind of early availability of IP and if Invicus IP is going to be available early, there's a very good chance that they'll adapt. From Global Foundry's point of view, we are going to be neutral and we have to be neutral to our customers. There are quite a few IP partners, but Invicus, if they're going to be early to market, maintain the quality, then customers automatically will choose them. Not exactly who are based off from India, but we have global IP partners, but they may have their design centers in India that's, uh, that may be slightly different from Invicus, where Invicus is kind of an India-based company versus most of the other IP partners are uh, based outside, but they may have a design center in India. Uh, we, we, we have more than 30, 30 to 40 IP partners, but in, in most cases, they're all very specialized. For example, it can, it can be RF IPs, it can be non-volatile IPs, it can be you know, many of the other things, but that is across the wide range of process nodes that I showed you. But what Invicus is going to be focusing on is on the leading edge technology, on the most advanced nodes. But I can also tell you, and um, you know, so this is some kind of an early information to some extent. If you look at next year or end of uh, you know 2016 or that kind of uh, time frame, Invicus will be one of the very first IP companies in the world that will be working on the most advanced technology, which is like the 10 nanometer. Okay, which, which, which is incredible. So I cannot guarantee and promise all that, but I'm just saying if you look at the current plan and, and uh, our discussions that are going on, that's a possibility.